Hey guys, Ty here. It's Christmas Eve, it is kind of late, um, but I wanted to do a video for release on Christmas morning because I have a feeling there are going to be a lot of brand new Oculus Go owners out there. So you got your shiny or kind of dull gray Oculus Go and you wanna know what can you do with it? And one thing that I think a lot of people want to know right out of the gate is how can I stream movies from my computer over to my Oculus Go? I wanna watch movies and it's super, super simple to do. So. I've decided that I'm gonna do like a small series of videos, kind of beginner tutorials on how to do certain things uh, in your Go. I really, really love the fact, and I've seen it in all of the uh, Facebook group forums and on Reddit, that there are just so many users embracing the Oculus Go that are not like your early adopter types. They are not very technically savvy maybe. They're not even like techie type of people, just regular people, older people, younger people that have just not, been like really, really tech savvy type people getting into the Oculus Go and I think that's great and that's definitely what we need kind of in the VR community and to see VR grow. Um, so I'm gonna do some simple, basic kind of newbie type of videos to help all these folks out. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream movies from your PC over to your Oculus Go. It's so easy and there are two ways to do it. So the first way, we are gonna be using what's called Plex Media Server. Plex is awesome. It's free to use within your own home network and it works really well and it's very, very user friendly, very, very easy to set up. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is head over to plextv.com, I'll provide a link down below, and you're going to create an account and download the software for your computer. You are then going to launch the software on your computer, and we'll come over here to a screenshot. I gotta minimize this in the way. You're gonna see it down here once it, you start it up uh, in your uh, status bar right there, and you're gonna see Plex Media Server. Just double click that, and it's all web-based, even on your computer, so it's gonna open a browser. That's the interface. Here, you're gonna see a sign-in page. I'm actually already logged in, so you're just gonna click log in, and you're gonna use the credentials uh, that you created when you uh, created your account, and so you're gonna log in, and bam, it's gonna take you to the home page right here. Now, there's not gonna be a whole lot off to the left because you haven't created any libraries, and there's probably not gonna be a lot here continue watching because you haven't started anything, but you're gonna to wanna to add some libraries, and that is where you store the video that you want to stream, and it can even be like a hard drive that you just plug into your computer or it can be uh, files that you have stored locally on the computer. So let's say we're gonna create <clears throat> movies and so you can name it whatever you want. We're just gonna call this movies. Then you're going to click next and then browse for media folder. And here is where you're just going to go to wherever you keep your videos. So let's say that it is an external drive which I've got a few virtual external drives here but it might just be like your D drive if you plugged in a, an external hard drive right there. And then you're gonna pick a folder, movies, and then you're just going to click add, and that's it, you're done. I'm not gonna click add because that folder's already been added to this library, and you're done. It's going to take a few minutes for the Plex Media Server to kind of index everything. It will download cover art for everything. It's all nice and pretty on the computer. Uh, very, very simple. One thing that you may need to do, I don't recall if this is defaulted, is go over to settings, and you want to enable what's called DLNA uh, Server. So to enable the DLNA server, you're just going to click settings, go over to the far left under settings, you're gonna see DLNA, and then just make sure enable the DLNA server is ticked and then click save changes. And then you're done. If you've got a large uh, media library, you know, like thousands of movies, it may take, you know, a good half an hour or so to index all of your videos. And now the, the, the big advantage to using Plex, you can do this with Windows Media Player, but it works terribly. It's not nearly as good as using Plex, is that it allows you to organize all of your folders like in really intuitive ways. And you don't even actually do the organizing. It does it for you, but it'll, it will organize by genre, by year release, by actor. Um, if it's a new release, if it's been recently added to your collection. Uh, so we'll get to that, how you can browse through everything here in a second, but it's just super intuitive. It's mostly 100% automatic. And then bam, you're done over there. Let it uh, do its thing for a minute. And then on your go, you're going to want to download an app called Skybox Player. And uh, let's see if we can get this. Whoops. Um, we're, uh, Skybox is already loaded up here. So in Skybox, when you're on the Skybox app, whoops, uh, and I'm a little laggy down here because I'm like 
really far from my router. So when you first open Skybox, this is what you're gonna see. You're going to want to go down here to network. You're gonna click on network. Oh, and let me go home here. Uh, and again, I'm a little laggy because I'm on a, a, my router's like forever far away. Okay, so this is where it's gonna take you and you're going to see the media server that you've set up. And you'll see it twice. One is SMB, you don't wanna use that. Use the folder that has the little uh, arrow icon. That is your Plex server. I actually have two Plex servers running here, uh, but we'll Plex, uh, select the ASUS, which is this one right here. And then it's got photo, videos, and music. It will always have those, even if you haven't added photos or music, but you can. Uh, so we're just going to go over to a video right here. And then bam, here we go, we've got all of these are different libraries. Um, so you just added movies, that's what we did before. So we're gonna click on the movies. And uh, here we go, and then up here, you're going to be able to sort by uh, ascending or descending. So I'll go back over here to ascending. And uh, there we go, and you'll see that it gives you lots of ways. All movies by collection, by content rating, by country by decade, by director, by first letter. Um, I found by folder is a good way to uh, sort through it. Uh, and uh, by genre is also good. Uh, and then if you've got a huge list and you're like, I gotta get to M you know, or, or R, you can switch the sort up here by hitting the uh, tools button and then just switch uh, ascending to descending you know you're like you want to find Zootopia just go descending and it's going to be one of the first folders there you're going to open it up and bam you're good to go and then play the video and it just works and Skybox will play pretty much any video file that you throw at it it will play 3D side by side 3D over under it will play video with AC3 audio which some players have an issue with it plays everything I've never had a problem with it playing a video file so that's that. Now, the second option is using an app called Virtual Desktop. Now, Virtual Desktop is killer. It is a paid app, it costs 10 bucks. But Virtual Desktop will allow you to have everything on your computer right on your go. And it's super, super easy to set up. You're going to go to vrdesktop.net. I'll provide a link down below. You're gonna install the computer program portion of it. You're gonna run that, you're just gonna enter in your Oculus Go username that you set up when you set up your Oculus Go account to start into the server app, and there's not a whole lot to it. You'll see it's basically, what's your username? Click OK. Then you're gonna head over to uh, the Oculus Store, find Virtual Desktop, buy it, download it, and I'm not gonna go through a whole tutorial on this. I will, I did this already, and I will link to that video down below. Um, but the advantage to having Virtual Desktop is that not only can you stream movies on your computer, I mean, just like you're sitting at the computer, so you just open up the folder like you would sitting on it, bam, it opens up your player, you go full screen, you see it in your Go, it will pipe the audio directly through your Go, so you can be away from your computer. Computer can be downstairs, you can be upstairs, it's like you're sitting at your computer, except boom, you open up a huge uh, movie player and you can be in a movie theater environment. It doesn't support 3D videos yet, that is coming. I don't know when, but the developer says it is on its way. He is working on that. Uh, but another advantage to that is like watching things like Netflix. Now, Netflix has an app for the Oculus Go, and it's okay. Um, I think the environment's kind of cooler in this like mountain cabin. But Netflix restricts uh, the quality to 480p. Okay. Now, that's okay if you're looking at a relatively small screen, you know, and you're not moving your head around to look at the screen, and you can't adjust the screen size in the Netflix app. Anyways, but let's say you want to enjoy a really big screen, you know, a big curved screen, which you can do in virtual desktop, and you want to actually have to move your head a little bit to see the entire screen, like you're sitting in a huge theater and you're kind of close to the screen. You want a lot more than 480p coming through to get the best quality possible. And you can go to your browser, open up Netflix, have it stream in 1080p HD, and you're gonna be able to make that screen a little bit bigger so it actually goes off and out of your peripheral vision so you actually have to turn your head a little bit to see it, and you're gonna get a much better quality. And then you can stream anything. You can go to Amazon Prime Videos, any website that you wanna stream videos from, you're gonna be able to stream it right here on your Go, and it's always gonna pump the audio directly through your Go, or you can just open up your folders, like I said, watch them that way, and you can play games, and there's a ton of other useful features, so I do recommend getting Virtual Desktop. It's a killer app, um, but if not, you wanna do it for free, stick to Plex Media Server 
on your uh, computer and then just use the Skybox app. If you wanna pay for a Plex Pass, you can and it's like a few bucks a month and then you can install the Plex player on Gear VR or I'm sorry, the Oculus Go, I'm not a huge fan of it. But let's say you've got your server running at home and you go on vacation, you can open up the Plex app and watch all of your videos at home right here on your go wherever you are and it works really well. I do pay for a Plex Pass and it works on your cell phone or on a tablet or you can share it with friends and family, it's pretty cool. Uh, but if you wanna to stick to free and you're just using this within your home network, uh, Plex a media server and then Skybox and then remote desktop is great or virtual desktop is great and virtual desktop you can actually connect remotely too as long as your computer's on you can connect remotely from anywhere in the world as long as you've got a good internet connection on your computer and on your go. So I think that's about it. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me. I really appreciate it tons. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button if you like these videos. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of these kind of intro videos here over the next week or so. Uh, and if you have any questions, if you've got anything to add, if you know a better way to do it, if you've got additional ways to do it, and there's, there's a few other ways to do it, go ahead and comment down below and let us all know or ask questions. Uh, I think that's it. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you're having a ton of fun with your new Go. You're going to love it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.